Hello everyone, welcome to A Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. This is going to be a, a, uh, a multi-informational video tonight, as you can tell by the, the title. Um, I intend this to be uh, my, uh, my final address of issues with GD Mead. I I'm done. I know that uh, my subscribers have uh, better things to do than watch videos about GD Mead. And uh, I feel the same way, uh, so this is going to be the last one. Um, when uh, Jeff had sent the money for uh, uh, solar at the fish pen, um, well you guys know, the, most of you know the backstory, and I'm not going to go through that all that again. Um, but in the interest of uh, just putting it all to bed, after everything had been said and done, I had offered to send GD Mead his money back, just to just to be done with it. Um, and uh, well, I tried, and he, and this is what I did. I'm gonna uh, read this email uh, that I got from Jeff on October 23rd which is, I guess, 13 days ago now. Brian, I watched with great dismay your video and your explanation of events. I am so miserable it has come down to this and wish it was not so. Yeah, right. Uh, I disagree with your version of events, and if you refer back to the email you sent me the day you collected the funds from LBC, you will realize your mistake in two statements you made in your video. Yeah, I went back and looked. I, I didn't see any mistakes I made in the video. Uh, I leave it there. As far as I'm concerned, the issue is dead. I will be quite happy to walk away from it entirely without going further. And after that video, the further, in quotation marks, would do, would do neither of us any good. Uh, yeah, this is coming from a guy who, uh, who made a video talking about all the knuckle-draggers that he knew all the enforcer types that he knew uh, that could have people taken care of. Yeah, Jeff, uh, you're not fooling anybody. Because uh, a heck of a lot of strife and a lot of people would not do any of us, would, would do uh, neither of us any good because a heck of a lot of strife and a lot of people, and I myself am not wanting all that. Uh, this is not a wimp out. I take great umbrage. You're saying I accused you of theft. We both know that's not true. Oh yeah, it, it is true. Um, when you say that you sent money and it wasn't appropriated the way that you had wanted it to and that I hadn't spent it all, uh, you're accusing me of theft. That's the bottom line. Um, you can send, you, you can Western Union the funds in my name too and uh, I'll break to the, uh, the little snippet in this, in this uh, email uh, of how he wanted it, uh, his name and how he wanted it sent. All right, this is the email that I read. And as you can plainly, plainly see, I sent the money to him just as he had written it out. Because that's the address he gave me. Um, should, you should you fulfill your pledge you made in your video, I will accept the funds. Uh, I will accept the funds return and cease any further conversation about the whole unfortunate saga in every forum. I expect the same from you, and know you will respect my private address details and not divulge that publicly or privately to any other person or persons. Uh, I do wish you now even success in your Philippines journey. Yeah. Uh, that all this has transpired is a very great sadness, and I wish it had never happened. Apart from my address details, I have no problem if you wish to read the text of this email uh, to your channel. Now, um, that email was sent on October 23rd. 
and uh, on October 28th, uh, I informed him, I sent him the uh, tracking number uh, from Western Union and uh, informing him that the money's been sent and the tracking number. And on the 29th, he emails me back and says he can't pick it up. Um, I don't know what day it was. Um, oh, and here's the here's the Western Union receipt of where I sent Jeff the money. And those of you who are interested can screenshot it and then inspect it and all that. Um, I don't think I don't think it's in question that I that I actually sent him the money. Uh, the only thing that was in question was that he couldn't pick it up. Uh, in in I don't know which day I made the video at PP Coffee. I think it was two or three days ago. So uh, the 29th was when he had said he couldn't pick it up. Three days ago would have been the second of uh, the 29th of October. Three days ago would have been the second of November. Uh, the second of November is when because uh, Tatai this was being sent using Tatai's name. Uh, the second of November. Uh, was when the I changed the name and uh, uh, the tracking number remained the same. All they do is change the uh, pickup information. And uh, not a lot of internet that night. It took me all night to publish that video. And uh, before I emailed him with the effort with the saying that hey, I changed your name. And, and you can see on this that um, this is Tatai's handwriting of the name spelled uh, completely spelled out um, that he had to change it to. And thank you, Tatai, for uh, uh, your time in this. So anyway, before uh, before I could uh, send him the new information, lo and behold, another video. Uh, about uh, what, a, what a piece of crap Ola that I am uh, disparaging me and my reputation and all the things that I'm doing wrong here and um, and so uh, I thought about it you know the rest of that day and that evening I just made up my mind you know what uh, you just you just can't take yes for an answer Jeff uh, nothing's ever good enough for you so guess what uh, early this morning, the, er, the first thing that I did this morning is me and Tatai went down to Western Union and I pulled the money out. So you're not getting a dime. I'm just going to keep it for all the headache that you've caused me. Um, nothing's good enough for you. Sending you the money back wouldn't make you any happier. Uh, so too bad. Uh, you're not getting the money back now. I made an overture to you that I didn't have to do just out of the kindness of my heart uh, just just to to appease your hurt feelings uh, whatever the reason may have been and you throw that right back in my face with your continuing rants uh, not just on the not just on the two channels that you've two YouTube channels that you have made with the sole purpose of disparaging my name uh, but to other channels that people may be aware, aware of also. You're a piece of work. You know, um, <laughs> if, if you can be believed, if I can believe the emails that you have, all the information in the emails that you have sent me, you left the Philippines under, uh, uh, you absconded out of the Philippines uh, under threat of your life. Uh, you told me that if you stayed much longer in the Philippines, you would have been a dead man. And why did that happen, Jeff? What did you do uh, to leave the Philippines and go home back to Australia uh, to save your life? What did you do to bring all that about? Well, part of it was running your mouth. And, you know, I don't know if it's the medication you're on because of your sickness or whatever, or if that's just the kind of person you are. But you just don't know when to shut your mouth. You just can't let anything go. And uh, knowing the Philippines, you know, and now you're stuck there. All this property you have here, all the life you had built up here is gone now. You can't come back. 
because as you have said there's a bullet waiting for you when you get here you just don't learn Jeff because that's the kind of person you are well too bad good on you um, another thing I'm going to touch on this as well uh, I'm, I'm done with uh, Jeff uh, lose my address Jeff lose my email address uh, you will be uh, from this point forward ignored um, he also put in his little uh, disparaging video because he's just trying to do anything he can uh, to uh, uh, smear my name so whatever you can make up from here on out whatever little uh, conspiracy theories your little detective badge can help you come up with knock yourself out buddy um, he had also put in his in his uh, latest little ranting video about how I had taken advantage of some poor little uh, Philippine national. You can't even get your facts straight on that, Jeff. Um, uh, an American guy named Rick from, you know, I don't know where Rick is from, Mississippi, Louisiana, somewhere. He's an American. He's not a Philippine national. Genius. Um, Rick had a uh, had bought a piggery uh, in Trinidad and uh, wasn't one wasn't like many uh, expats that come here uh, had figured out straight away that it takes a lot more money to make things happen here than what he had anticipated so he wanted to sell the piggery and uh, get rid of the pigs that he had and so uh, my friend Lito and I went over there did a video on on his property and uh, shortly after that, he was going home. Um, his wife didn't want to stay there and take care of the pigs. He had seven gilts that uh, he was just going to sell for uh, meat. Uh, I think he was being offered 100 a kilo or something. I told him, you know what? I don't have the money, but I'd like to have those gilts. Um, uh, let me have him on on credit and he did good on him uh, I brought him back and this was I don't know this was a this was a more than a year ago uh, I, I should I shouldn't have done it it was a mistake on my part I should have uh, you know I should have ran from it screaming but you know he was leaving soon he needed to get rid of the pigs uh, I didn't want to see him just slaughtered for meat um, I, I had room for him uh, so to help him out and to you know to get to that magic 50 number I took the, I took the guilt from him and uh, tried to make a go of it uh, they weren't quite as advertised and it wasn't Rick uh, he just passed along the misinformation that he'd got these were supposed to be like a kind of a special uh, special genetic line pig um, they weren't the, the pigs I've got here are better than those but th that's neither here nor there um, I after I I, and I think I was supposed to pay him in three months or six months I don't know uh, he let me have him on time uh, it was more than just a gentleman's agreement I actually signed saying I'll you know I, I'm getting such and such on on uh, time and we'll pay you on such and such date and by the time uh, and we did uh, we did give him some money I think the I think the total purchase price was 70,000 and I think we paid him 12 uh, because he needed this was during this was bright in the beginning of COVID uh, he needed to get the heck out of here um, he needed money for a plane ticket, and so I think I sent him twelve thousand pesos because I hadn't I hadn't sent him anything up to that point. Um, you know what? Things happen. Uh, I think everyone's well aware of the pig situation. Uh, there's no there's no money rolling around in here. I'm selling those. Uh, I paid ten thousand pesos each for those gilts, and. Uh, Bread, they're worth four thousand now. That's that's what they're worth. And so, um, in the you know to try to to try to appease Rick, um, right 
after after I'd gone into default, let's say, on the uh, agreement, I offered him, you know, we've got the Prince William, you, you know, right on the water where you live. Uh, I've got the Prince William. Would you take that? Would you take the boat and some additional cash and call it square? And I don't remember what I'd offered him in cash. Um, I think it was 25k in the boat. I don't remember. I'm not going to go back through my text messages. Um, he didn't want to do that. He wanted all cash. And I think by that time he was in the he was in the states. <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Over the last several months, he's been, you know, I, I want my money, where's my money? And, uh, you know, I, I, I flat out told him and texted him, so, you know what, uh, we don't have the money. Um, and we can't, we, can't sell, we can't sell the pigs for enough to get you your money. So I told him that uh, you can have any seven pigs we've got out here. Forget the twelve thousand we already paid you. Uh, you can have any seven pigs that you you want here, and we'll deliver them back anywhere uh, that you want them. And uh, again, not, he just wanted his money. Um, threatened to take us to court, the whole nine yards. Uh, you know, when you when you buy something on time, and <coughs> something on time, and you can't afford to pay it off. I mean, if you're making payments on a car and you and you for whatever reason you stop make the pay, making the payments, what's the seller's remedy? You'll get the car. If someone's buying a television on time and they don't make the payments, well, you get the TV back. Um, it's it's the same thing. Uh, I don't have money. I don't have the money to pay for the pigs. You want the pig pigs back? I'll even sweeten it up and we'll forget the twelve thousand. Uh, you just take seven pigs. He didn't want that. He wants his money. Well, okay, fine. Um, that's neither here nor there. But to take that one step further and go and go behind my back to uh, GD Mead and uh, you know uh, put out his whole story, send him the documentation uh, for fuel for uh, Jeff's fire. You know what? You too now. I mean, you, this is the vindictive side of the foreigner coming out, because I can only, you know, I can only do so much. I can only, I can only uh, be the dove so so much. After a while, I'm just done with you. So guess what, Rick? I'm done with you. You want to go to court? I'll see you in court. You present your case. I have the text messages, and I'll present mine. Uh, if you think you're going to get the fifty-eight thousand that I still owe you, good luck. Um, I, I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you, uh, but I'm done with you. Uh, the offer to give you the seven pigs is no longer on the table. Um, you don't want them anyway, so I guess that's that's, that's no big deal. But uh, now, because you've done it here, uh, there's no way I would consider giving you those seven pigs. And we don't have the money to give you, so uh, until it goes to court, you got nothing. There you go. Uh, that's what happens when you poke the bear too much. Um, that's it for those two. Uh, I'm, I'm done, done with both of you. Wish you all the best. Um, we'll see. Now on to uh, some other salacious uh, chismes that's going on in the Philippines. You know, I've gotten emails and many comments about uh, staying away from the uh, Philip Rizzuto. Um, he's not a nice guy, you know, blah, blah, blah. There's also been, you know, there's accusations flying back and forth between uh, the Ahern family and the Rizzutos. Uh, I've met the Aherns three or four times, seem like nice people. I've met Philip and Gladys and hung out with them four or five times, seemed like nice people. All I can say is to everyone, take a deep breath um, and don't, don't put yourself as judge and jury. Uh, I would just about bet that none of you know the whole story. In fact, I don't think anyone knows the whole story except the Aherns and the Rizzutos. Um, 
I'm not going to get involved with the, the, all the rumors and the chismes. I haven't had time to do any research myself, uh, mainly because I just don't care. Um, I, I'm not into the whole gossipy end of it. I mean, it's like everybody's still in jun junior high. Uh, I'm, that's why this is the vet last video that's going to be about G.D. Meade. Um, I'm just not into the drama. And I would just ask, you know, for everyone, there's, there's children involved in both families, both the Aherns and the Rizzutos. And I would uh, ask everyone uh, not to form an opinion on what you see on YouTube. Uh, you don't know, you're not getting the full story and you don't know all the facts. And just, you know, if someone's arrested, someone is convicted, someone goes to jail, then there you go. But until that happens, it's just gossip. It's just gossip. And uh, I would just urge everyone just to chill out. Um, I'm not going to get involved in, in their fray. Uh, I, I don't have an opinion on it because I'm not that, you know, I'm, I don't have any, I probably have less information than most of you because I don't have the internet to watch videos. I don't have, you know, I haven't heard from either one of them. Uh, I'm just, you know, uh, I, I'm pretty much in the dark. And so that's why I'm saying just calm down everyone and try not to do your best not to pass judgment because I, I can assure you in my experience, you don't have the whole story. Um, just chill. And so that's going to be it for this video. Um, I, I'm over with all this drama with GD Mead. He can go stew in his own pudding for all I care. Um, those of you who, who, who soak up what he's selling like gravy, good on you. Um, I'm done with it. Uh, I'm done with uh, GD Mead and I'm done with all the drama around it. Um, form whatever opinions you want on how I've handled the whole thing and my latest reaction I, I don't care <laughs> I just don't care I'm done I'm done with it um, that being said thank you everyone for watching and uh, please like share comment and subscribe